Are you deaf? How are things? Get lost! Hey, a new face! Who are you? I am Gorn, mercenary of the Magicians. What do you have to do as a mercenary of the Magicians? Lee has made a deal with the Magicians. He hires the best fighters to be found in the colony, which means us. We take care that the scrapers can mine the ore without being bothered and keep trouble away from the magicians. The magicians make sure we'll get out of here, and we get a small share of the ore as our pay. That's really not my can I stay somewhere here without having to kick somebody out of his hut? I don't think so. But if that's really what you want to do, go and see Shrike. He's taken the hut right at the front, at the entrance to the cave. It was empty, but it really belonged to us. Us? Well, us mercenaries. Mercenaries and rogues live separately here. And none of Laris' gang should be here, on this side of the big hall. It doesn't make much difference, really. But he didn't ask. And you can't let those rogues get away with everything, because then they get real cocky. What do I have to do to join the new camp? Before Lee admits you, you'll have to improve your fighting skills. It doesn't matter what weapon you use, but you have to be good. Besides, you should be very experienced with the life here and everything. If you don't want to go to the other camps, you should try to join the rogues before you start as a mercenary. See you later! If you think... People always talk. Who are you? 
I'm Torloff. I was involved in a mutiny as mate of a royal warship. It wasn't such a good idea. The greater part of the crew was on the captain's side. That's how I came to be here. I'd like to join you. Lee won't take you on until you get real good. I'm telling you now. And until then, you'd better stay on good terms with Laris and his crowd. You want some advice, boy? Steal something important from the old camp. Or the old mine. As soon as the boys notice that you're against Gomez, you won't have any more trouble here. And how do I do that? You need to win their trust, and then you can rip them off. Hey, you! Hey, Good. you! Don't what have you do been that doing again? There? That's really do you know where you're heading? Maybe. Where? You're heading straight for Lee, our leader. As long as I'm not involved. What do I need to do to make you let me see Lee? Nothing. This isn't the old camp, and Lee isn't Gomez. He doesn't need an army of henchmen to hide behind. He can defend himself. We are only here in case he needs us. What do I need to do to... Nothing. Maybe. Let's talk. I wouldn't like to be in uh, his I... shoes, though. How's it going? As always, making sure that no one gets too close to the mages and the ore. What can you tell me about this camp? Watch out while you're here. There are a lot of cutthroats around in the camp. We have a number of unwritten laws here. One, only the mercenaries can enter the mages' zone. Two, you try to get anywhere near the ore mound, you're a dead man. Three, don't try to get into the bar on the lake. You see, that's the rogues' bar, and they don't like new kids like you showing up there. Who calls the shots around here? We mercenaries all follow Lee. He's made a deal with the mages. We protect them, they get us out of here. So the mages are really in charge? Nope. Nobody's in charge of the camp. Most people here are just guys that couldn't or wouldn't stay in the old camp. We all do our own thing here. We only agree on one thing. It's better to pile the ore into a mound and blow it up than to send it on to that goddamn king. Do you need another good man? We won't have anyone join the mercenaries unless they've been here for years and have had a lot of experience. If you want to stay in the camp, you'll have to get to grips with the rogues first. You're the boss of the mercenaries, aren't you? That's right, boy. Which task do the mages' mercenaries have? Very simple. Protect the ore, protect the mages. Sometimes the mages have a special task for one of us. I'd like to join you. You have a nerve. Do you honestly think I'll just take anybody who walks in here? You can only become one of us after you've spent a certain time in the camp. I'll observe you. Stop! Nobody may pass without the password! Well, there was a time when they... You okay? All's quiet for now. For now? If the rogues keep on attacking Gomez's convoys, it won't be long before him and his army come knocking down the gates. And that's not gonna be much fun. Is there any trouble in this camp? Man, there's always trouble. 
The rogues do as they please, and we mercenaries have to shield the majors and defend the camp. Who calls the shots around here? We do as the majors say, but usually they don't say nothing. They just hang out by the ore mound and bury their noses in their books. Basically, Lee's in charge. He's our boss. I want to become a mercenary. That's not so hard. If you're prepared to fight for our cause, Lee's bound, but he only takes people. Well... I thought so. If you're really serious, talk to Gorn. He's trained newcomers before. Maybe you'll be lucky, and he'll take the time to train you. Where can I get a bow here? You've come to the right address for that. I offer good value for good ore. Who are you? I'm Wolf. I make armor. I'd like to learn how to handle a bow. I can teach you, but I can't do it as a favor. After all, I have to eat as well. How much? Anything I teach you will cost you 50 ore. I don't haggle. I'm looking for better armor. I can't sell you anything. Lairs would kill me if I sold armor to strangers. How do I get furs and skins? On the way to the new camp, you'll come across Aiden. He can teach you how to skin animals. Radford and Drax are hanging around in the north of the old camp. It's on the way to the trading square. Hi, who are you? That's none of your business. I don't like your mug. I better be something out. about this story. Yeah. Shh, hey you. Who? Me? Exactly. Come over here. What do you want? You've just arrived, haven't you? I noticed it straight away. There are a lot of things you need to know. I can teach you a few things. Besides, you have to watch who you talk to. Butch, for example. That's the guy over there, next to the campfire. Be aware of him. What can you teach me? It depends. What do you want to know? What's the matter with Butch? He has the mean habit of beating up the new ones. So you better avoid meeting him. Greetings, magician. May the blessing of Adonis be with you. I can help you to increase your magic powers or give you some useful items. What can I do for you? You want to destroy the barrier. How exactly do you plan to do that? We need major amounts of magic ore. We'll release the entire magic power and a great magic right to blow up the barrier. Of course, such a big amount of ore attracts a lot of rogues and crooks. That's why we need a man to defend our plan. I'd like to join you. If you want to join us, you should see Lee or Laris. 
I'd like to become a magician. We cannot afford to spread our knowledge among our enemies. We will not even consider instructing you unless you prove your loyalty to us. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. We are the magicians of the Circle of Water. The magicians of the Circle of Fire live in the old camp. But I can't get into the castle. Could you help me? Well, occasionally we send messengers to our brothers in the old camp. But we only entrust these messages to Lara's men. He's been seeing to it for many years now that our messengers arrive safely. I want to acquire magic writings. Well, there was a time when things would have gone very well, Keep it to yourself. Lately. People don't need to know it. If you think. There must be something about this story after all. Wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. You should believe everything you hear. Step aside. You're from the sect camp, aren't you? We call it the Brotherhood. I'm Baal Kagan. The sleep will be with you. What are you doing here? Originally, I was sent here to convince people to join our Brotherhood. But these barbarians are not interested in spiritual enlightenment. Therefore, I'm restricted to selling swamp weed. And that is a popular occupation here. Too popular. I can hardly deliver as much as they want to have. Why don't they send an extra man here? Bal Isidro was meant to help me, but he just spends all day in the bar on the lake and trades his wheat for rice schnapps. He's addicted to the spirit. I fear I cannot expect any help from him. I could help you sell your weed to the people. I can only entrust such a large amount of weed to members of the Brotherhood. But you could help me give out gifts. Not everybody has tasted my goods yet. As soon as they've tried the weed, They'll want more, which means I can sell more. I thought you could hardly manage to do your tasks now. Bala Sidro will be taken care of soon. I've already sent a message to Korakalam. What's in it for me if I hand out the weed for you? I can reward you in many different ways. You can get magic spell scrolls from me, bearing the powerful magic of the sleeper. Or I can help you join our community if that's what you want. I have very good contacts to Kor Kalam and Baal Tion. Both are very close to E. Baryon, our master. I can pay you with plain ore as well if you prefer. A hundred nuggets should be enough for your efforts. Okay, give me the weed. Who do you want me to give it to? You're sure to find someone who'll take it. Talk to people, but only give one stalk to each person. Uh, one more thing. If you let somebody take the weed from you, or if you smoke it yourself, our deal ceases to exist. Sure. Show me your... As you wish. Hey, you! Lucky for you, but I would have enjoyed polishing your mug. Now where are you going? Where can I go? To Laris. I want to see Laris. I doubt he'll talk to you. Just you leave that to me. I won't stop you. Where do you want to go? I want to meet Laris. Laris is here, but you need a good reason to disturb him. Mordrag sent me. Mordrag hasn't been seen here for some time. He's probably changed over to the old camp. I came here with him. Mordrag's back? If you meet him, tell him Lares wants to see him. Mordrag gave me something for Laris. What is it? A ring. Certainly a precious piece. Okay, you can see him.
I want to join your gang. Oh yeah? What have you got to show for yourself then? Mordrag sent me. He gave me a ring for you. A precious piece. It's part of normal procedure here to share your booty with your gang leader. But the fact that he gave you the ring proves that he must think a lot of you. I want you to go to him and tell him something from me. Tell him I want somebody in the sect camp. The Brotherhood is planning something big. I want to know exactly what's going on there. Where can I learn something? With me? I can help you to improve your dexterity and strength. What else can I do? Bal Isidro from the sect camp has weed worth at least 400 ore on him. I want you to get it from him. I don't care how you do it. If you have the weed, sell it. Bring me the 400 ore. Then we'll talk again to see if you'll be admitted to the gang. Is that enough for me to join you? Mordrag has spoken up for you, but you're not ready yet. Do your tasks. Hey, how's it going? Do you want to buy something? I need a few things. Hey, you! What are you creeping around here for? As long as I'm not You have to watch what you... Hang on. Better not go rushing into it. But keep it to yourself. Hang on. on. Better not go You're rushing into it. That's how it goes. Some people. If you hey. But You've you no business in there. there. Better keep out of it. Well, there was a time when things would have gone very differently. You don't look very agile. I could help you. I can show you how to control your body. It's the art of acrobatics. Not listening to all the glamour time. As soon as you've gained control of your body, you'll be able to jump much further. You'll learn how to roll off and what's the best way to land when falling. But don't forget, you're not immortal. Acrobatics can also be very useful during battle. You'll be able to change the distance between you and your foe very quickly. Good luck! I can show you how to... Don't listen to all the think. blathering. Talk about as long as I'm not involved. Relax. Well, hang on. Buddy, you're in trouble. That's how it goes. Don't listen to all now, the blathering. Now that's ever likely to change. There, there must be I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. You shouldn't believe everything. Some people will never learn. That wasn't very good. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. You have to watch what you tell me. Maybe. You have to speak about something else instead. That won't happen again. You have to watch. I better keep out of it. Same old story. Wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. That won't happen again. Same old story every time. You shouldn't 
believe everything in the It was obvious that there would be trouble. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago, as long as it's gone. People always talk about the time when things would have gone. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Dad won't have it again. Some people never learn. There must be something about that story. As long as I'm not involved. Let's talk about something. What have you been doing in there? I wouldn't Let's like to talk about something. Else. Let's talk about something. I have some swap wheat here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten ore. Come by again when you get some more, will ya? Do you want some swamp? I'll give you ten ore for it. Here. Any time you need to get rid of some more, just stop by. Do you want some swamp weed? I'll give you ten ore for it. Here. Any time you need... You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten ore. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. That wasn't very clever. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten ore. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. He got some. I love it. <laughs> some I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten ore. Come by again when you get some more, will ya? I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten ore. Come by again. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's come by again. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for huh. Rely on somebody in your trouble. That. I've shared out the weed. The first new customers have already been to see me. You've done a good job. What will you have as a reward? Tell me to join the Brotherhood. Your request is modest. I'll help you, so listen to me. Baal Tion is one of the lower gurus, just like myself. E. Baryon has made him one of his advisors. That has not done him any good. He now thinks he's so important that he'll talk to nobody but his disciples. If you give him this here, it'll loosen his tongue.
I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. Of course. It'll cost you, though. I want 30 ore. 